Hey guys, so we're back with another favorite video. It's March, I get it, I get it. I'm a little bit late, but I wanted to talk to you guys about my February favorites, so let's get right into it. up for my February favorites are six things that entered my life in February and I have not been able to put them down that's the theme that's it like that's it it's the things that I've actually been using the things that I've actually been super super loving or even like obsessing about a little bit and I just like wanted to share them because maybe you've asked me on Instagram about it maybe you've asked me on here about it and I don't want to like miss anything I don't ever want anyone to feel like I'm ignoring them like I am not a gatekeeper whatsoever, so if I like it, I'm going to share it. If you love it, I hope that you share your things with me as well down in the comments. Um, if you've used any of the products that I'm about to show you or any of the items that I'm about to show you, let me know what you think of them. Like, this is not a one-woman show, you know what I mean? It's not my opinion only, so certainly use that comment box. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you're always aware when I post a new video. All right, so the first product I wanted to share with you guys is this Womo Stay Woke Concealer. Baby, I'm actually wearing it right now, and it's like every time I use this, my makeup comes out so much better. Like, I truly, truly, truly enjoy the Brit Girl, like everyone's calling this the British Black Girl makeup, and they really truly know what they're doing each and every time. I am obsessed with having like a much brighter under eye right now. It is trendy, um, it can go to the left. Sometimes people abuse it just a little bit, but I just feel like, you know, as black women, like we just, we just make anything work and this is definitely one of them. Um, I, I love this tone on me. This is actually, let me just, Honey Honey T3. And I bought this at Morphe. Um, so it was suggested to me and I like, you know, I was just like, yeah, sure, I'm here to spend money, whatever. Took it home, wasn't expecting to be so in love with it, but I'm telling you, like I've worn this maybe three out of the four weeks of February since I got it. And like, let's just, let's just get a moment. I know I really, really do love this under eye. Um, it goes on really creamy, so it's really good for like um, not a matte look. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this concealer for a matte look for sure. Um, but the dewy girls, the girls that get it, you need to get this for sure. Okay, so sticking in the makeup realm, the next thing I want to share with you guys is also something I'm wearing today. It's actually new blush. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics line. I was specifically in search for this time at Morphe for an orange blush. So you guys know like in January, I was abusing my NARS pink blush. I mean, I still love her, don't get me wrong. I'll like link it down here if you guys are looking for the perfect pink blush. If you are near my skin tone or honestly darker, that NARS blush, like it can't go wrong. But I really wanted an, an orange blush that just really just does an even better job at like highlighting my skin tone and just getting a little bit warmer because it is getting warmer outside. So I was suggested to get this Jaclyn Cosmetics kit and it comes with hot lava. Can you see that? So this is hot lava. This color is so, so gorgeous. If it would let me open it, let me show you guys. So the packaging is also really beautiful. It's a little smudged because I've been using it. But getting into the color, this is the hot lava. And then this is, I think this is a, for a contour. This is um, the Cocoa Rich right here. So I don't really use the Coco Rich. I haven't really used that. I've been using my um, Milk Foundation Stick to do any type of like contour looks or anything. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gorgeous and pigmented as well, but I just haven't touched it just yet. So ixnay this part from our February faves. This is the girl we're talking about. And it is just instantly, instantly I am in love with it. I constantly wear it even when i'm doing like just a really really quick like need to you know put some color to my face because i'm going to take a photo or i know i'm gonna to have to take a facetime meeting or something like that this is my go-to um because while being uh, like really pigmented it's still pretty natural like if you just don't go too heavy on it so i am wearing it right now I hope you guys can see it i could have packed a little bit more on there but i don't want to you know like just like 
you never know. You, you don't want to overdo it. You never know how you look up on camera, right? Like sometimes you think you look great on like a regular mirror and then you get on camera and then you edit and you're like, so I don't want to play myself, but I'm telling you, if you are looking for an orange blush, this is that girl. You should absolutely try it. Again, this is Jaclyn Cosmetics, and I got this at Morphe as well. All right, so keeping it just as random, but February was random. It is what it is. I'm giving you guys the real, the things that I've actually been using once again. So my third favorite item of February is my new water bottle. I think these water bottles are so cute. I actually saw someone post something on Pinterest about this water bottle and I went on the hunt for it. Luckily, Amazon literally has everything. You want a new baby, get it on Amazon. Like you need a new chair, get it on Amazon. Like everything is there. So these were also there. I will obviously link this and everything else I'm talking about in the description box. But this water bottle is so cute and it can be used for more than just water. I have certainly made my iced coffees in this. I've made my matchas in this. Um, it opens like a regular milk carton type look at the top, but it also opens much bigger. So I actually also do infuse fruit water, fruit water in this a lot, and it just looks cute. It's like a really aesthetically pleasing water bottle. It doesn't take up too much space. It's square, yet it's like um, narrow enough at the bottom to fit in your cup holder in your car, so you don't have to worry about that. It also just doesn't spill. I'm gonna tip it over and watch it embarrass me, but I'm telling you it doesn't spill, hold on. See, infomercial done. So definitely it um, is one of my favorites. I've definitely been using this every single day. I just find like when I drink from not the water bottle, I actually finish my water. This is like my third refill for today. I'm like really big on making sure I'm taking or getting my intake for water, two reasons. I'm really into hot yoga lately and you really need to be replenishing yourself of all that you're sweating out and two, you guys may or may not know, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not new, I suffer from seborrheic dermatitis. And one huge reason why my flare ups happen is because I'm not drinking enough water. So I really, really do make sure to keep water bottle with me. And so make it cute, you know? We have our fourth product and it is this. It is my Clever Matcha Super Latte Mix. Um, This came into my life in February by one of, all right, so this came into my life in February by way of one of my really good friends, Sienna. So we have really been getting into matcha as of late. I put down the coffee, not forever, just for a little bit, just because I have had a lot of anxiety from the top of this year. I've had a lot of things I wanna get done, just a lot of like, you know, new opportunities in life. And I have just been really like going to sleep, waking up and just having things at the front of my mind. And did you know, Having too much coffee actually makes you more anxious. Don't kill me, I'm just, I'm, help, I'm helping you. I'm trying to help you out, okay? So if you're feeling anxious, the wrong thing to do is pick up an iced coffee or whatever you're drinking that has coffee in it. So if you're looking for an alternative, I suggest you get you into some matcha. So I know, I know, like matcha might taste nasty for some, and the first time I had matcha, I also thought it was like, why are you drinking dirt? like what's going on, it tastes disgusting. But if you know how you like your matcha, make the matcha how you like it. And for me personally, I like Two Pumps Vanilla. And I also love it with oat milk. So if you wanna try that recipe, you know what, I'll actually put my recipe in the description box for you as well. Like, And then come back and tell me if it's not the me best matcha latte you've ever had. Like, Not to brag, but the girls know I make a matcha latte, okay? But no, this matcha latte has just been really, really awesome because it has just more than matcha in it. Matcha on its own is actually super healthy for you, really great. Also still has like that caffeine that coffee gives you, but it's just not as, mm, I don't know why it's not as bad for you if it also has caffeine in it. It's a different derivative of energy. It's not caffeine. It, it's like a different derivative. So it doesn't affect your anxiety while still being very good for you. But like I said, this one is super packed with other nutrients in it, so I'll let you guys know what it is now. So what's inside, matcha of course, which is focused energy. It already has oat milk in it, um, so it's like already like that creamy taste when you mix it, so you only have to add water to this one rather than having to put your milk, your creamer, and all that thing, all those things or whatever that make you know extra matcha latte, it's already in here. 
This also contains um, co uh, coconut cream, which is a really good healthy brain fuel. It also has ashwagandha in it. This supports stress. So a lot of um, these like new like ritual and all those other like um, quick like vitamin companies and I've seen them in gummy form as well. They are all selling ashwagandha and I have heard like, you know, really good benefits. Anyone I do know who's tried them, like the supplements of ashwagandha have loved them, um, but it's already in here. And so I just like getting all my things in one cup, you know, in one sitting. I don't want to take multiple things to get benefits. I love that it's already in my matcha. This also has lion's mane and that helps with sharper focus. I'll tell you what, yesterday, I parked on the fourth floor when I live on the fifth floor. And I did that after leaving my keys at the supermarket. So then when I got home, I realized half my keys are at the supermarket and half are here. It's just like, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Like mom life is cute, but it's not cute, okay? So I definitely need this lion's mane sharper focus. Wait, so it's not working? That might have just been because I'm like tired these days, but I'm telling you, when I do have to sit and focus on something, I can tell that I'm able to sit and focus on it. So, disregard. Um, and lastly, it has reishi in it for mood boost and then probiotics for immune support. She's not 20 anymore. You know, I need a little help for that gut health. So this is Clever Matcha Super Latte. It's not your regular matcha latte. It's a super latte. All right, so the fifth thing that I have been loving in February is actually, let's call it Janae's fault. So as you guys know, any bad influence in my life is from Janae. She's gonna see this and y'all gonna find her in the comments being like, what are you, t that's not true. I'm telling you, it's true. But this one is one of those guilty pleasures. I, I'm, I'm loving listening to it and it's fine and I like that we both listen to it now and so we could dish about it after we're done with the episode. So I'm actually talking about Poor Minds podcast. Like this show, if you haven't heard of Poor Minds before, it is hosted by two women, Lex and Drea, and they are just hilarious. So I guess they used to work together at the club or whatever, and then they started a podcast together. They've been around for quite some time, but you know, she's a late girl. Sometimes busy being a mom, thanks. But now that I'm here, girl, I am hooked. Like I listen to these and I am cracking up out loud. I do love listening to them at home. I definitely have my headphones on when I do so because they are a little bit raunchy. Um, read a lot raunchy, but they're just freaking hilarious. I love the topics they talk about um, when they have guests I'm not obsessed with when they bring on guests. I don't love all of their guests, but you know, podcasts have to do what they have to do in order to pod and cast, you know? So I don't hate them for it, but like definitely Lex and Dre on their own are just perfect. And um, actually they're coming to Charlotte on the 16th of March. So me and Janae are definitely booked and ready. We're gonna be there cheering on our girls. We absolutely are so excited to see them live. This will be my first live podcast like thing to go to so it'll be like a new a new something for me to do and I'm really glad that I get to do it with my sister so it's something that we're gonna share have that memory and then just doing something that we both love which is listening to Lex Andrea of Poor Minds okay so if you have not heard of them definitely find them on your podcast they're both on Spotify and Apple Podcasts I listen to it on my Apple Podcasts and they come out with new episodes every Friday so you know how last year everyone was like, get an iPad, get an iPad, like the girls who have an iPad, their lives are fully together. I thought it was a joke until I got an iPad. And like, my life is a little bit together, y'all. So this is gonna be your sign to for sure get an iPad. My sixth favorite thing in February has been an app that I actually use on my iPad. And that is my Dash Planner. So I purchased my dash planner online. I will of course link them down below, but I'll also just show the Instagram page right here. Um, I found them on Instagram. I saw like what their planner layouts kind of looked like. This one was my favorite. It's the dark mode of their planner. And I think it's one of their most popular planners. So I use this in conjunction with like 
notes that I write down. I talk about using my post-it method for my um, goal setting, but I also use this to move my goals forward. So with this planner, um, you can use this right here, which is obviously the calendar. So with that, I write down, you know, what all my videos are going to be for the month. And then I backwards plan from there. What's really good about this is that you can also hit the overview tab here. And with the overview, you'll see that it gives like different sections where you can just write down what your goal is for the month, personally, financially, spiritually, all of that. And I often come back and visit this and see how I'm doing. So this is something that really keep with me everywhere. Like if you see me, you see my iPad. If you see my iPad, you see me. So I really, really recommend the Dash Planner for anyone who is a content planner planning to do some content work or just anyone who really needs a new way of like keeping their day to day together. This for sure has helped me. Um, and then the last function that I like on here is the weekly routine. So I use the weekly routine when I was saying I backwards plan. So I make my goal for the month, I use the overview tab to do that, and then I come back and literally write down what I am doing every day of the week in order to get closer to said goal. And then you can come back and check it, you can come back and write down what happened that day, why didn't you figure it out? But it's got several templates on here. I mean, I haven't even like tapped into all that this Dash Planner can do, um, but I absolutely love it. Like it has a brain dump, like if you're in like some sort of a creative funk, you can absolutely get in here and look for the brain dump um, template and just write down everything that you've been thinking and then you can just like organize it later. So I will like show some pictures of that here and I will also link it down below for you. I'm telling you right now, it's not necessarily the iPad that changes your life, it's how you use the iPad. And I never thought I would be in like a, a e-planner girl, but here I am in the flesh. This has been top, top, top thing for me in February. I mean, I use this to help me get a thousand subscribers by um, February 28th and I went over a thousand subscribers. So plan ahead, baby, dash planner. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna give you guys only six things that I've been loving in February, but I totally forgot there are definitely seven items that I have been loving in February. And the seventh I'm actually wearing right now, and that's my Ana Luisa ring collection. So they actually gifted me these three rings in February, and I have not taken them off since, y'all. Like, I have been eyeing specifically this ring for quite some time, so I was super excited when they reached out and wanted to send me some jewelry. Um, these are like just gorgeous. I love the fact that I can stack them. These two are stacked right here. I also love the fact that I can wear them singularly and they're just as stunning. Um, they're just like they're just dainty and just yet like striking at the same time. Do you love or what? So they're like handcrafted in the US and in France. They're also made of sustainable material. I know that the brand is really, really big on that. So much so that this is actually made of recycled metal and it is ethically sourced. So this brand really provides high-end luxury finished products, finished jewelry um, for reasonable prices. Like who doesn't love that? You're caring about the environment while still looking very, very cute, very, very classy. Um, these are obviously just rings that I am going to keep in my collection for quite some time. I have a daughter, so the jewelry that I wear, the jewelry that I purchase, are things that I know I'm gonna to want to pass down. And I know that Ana Luisa is definitely going to stick with me. She's gonna stick beside them, okay? It's not gonna tarnish. This is just really good, high-end, affordable jewelry. And I love that I'm gonna have this around for a while so that Cadence might be able to wear it if she so chooses, right? But who wouldn't, who wouldn't wear these? These are just so, so gorgeous. I'm gonna move this one to this ring so you can see this dainty, just very simple very minimalistic jewelry, definitely my style. I couldn't be happier that they chose to gift these to me. I'm super grateful to them. Um, I will be keeping these for some time. I do wear them almost every single day. Like I switch out which fingers that I'm wearing them on and like I said, I can stack them together. So I'm for sure going to be buying some more pieces. They have awesome bracelets and like 
gorgeous earrings and gorgeous um, minimal necklaces as well. Something for everyone on their site. So make sure you check them out. I'm going to link them right down below. I'll probably put them as the first link because I really want you guys to also just get yourself something nice. If I advocate anything on this channel, it is self care, okay? It is get yourself something despite and definitely want you to get yourself something from Ana Luisa. They were gracious enough again to gift me something, but you need to gift yourself something, all right? Okay guys, so that was it for my February favorites. Thank you guys so much for coming back, watching this channel, watching me, putting up with me, being in my comments, or really just keeping the conversation going. I more than appreciate it. I cannot wait to come back with my March favorites. I'm already, I'm already thinking about some stuff. I already see some things I'm like obsessing with. But again, if you liked any of the things I shared in this video, make sure to let me know down in the description, not the description box, but the comments, okay? Let me know in the comments and then go like this video. And then also don't forget to share it. Maybe somebody else wants to know what my favorites are and what now your favorites are. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next video. Hips tick tock when I dance. On that demon time, she might start her own.